in the Netherlands. Power head two. The sport in Dutch robot wars twice, a heat semi finalist there. What does it exactly do? Um, it has a couple of side hammers to ram and a powerful uh, full pressure flipper on the back. So, has it been in many wars? Uh, it's been in the second uh, Dutch robot wars. And it fights well? Um, yeah, I made some improvements since then and it uh, fights pretty good. They say it looks like a hammerhead shark. I say it looks like a, a metal box on wheels. It's very powerful, full pressure flipper for the tail and side hammers. Uh, lack of arena knowledge, though, could cost them here. From Roboteers, stand by. To the teams then, Neil Stee Carpentier, Richard van der Berg of Hammerhead 2 on the left-hand side, Iron Ore and the Grimms with Ian Bilbo on the right. Xenomorph there, captained by Jeff Flitton on the left and disc constructor Mike James and Laurie Philipson. In the arena, Sir Killalot, alongside our house robot there. Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. Activate. Lion Orr has bags of experience, crosses the arena floor, looking for damage and chasing the ref pot. Interesting shaped disc constructor, isn't it? With that circular saw blade sort of hanging out in front. Xenomorph as well looks quite potent. Flipped up though, was Hammerhead. Bounces down Disconstructor with a little nudge on the back of Xenomorph, which has got itself tied up in underneath Hammerhead 2. And needs to self-right from there. The Dutch team from Delft about to be shattered, it would seem, unless they can. Self-right. Trying. Oh, into the pit goes Disconstructor! No danger whatsoever. Oh, what on earth? And Mike Phillipson. Suddenly the pit yawned open underneath them and they were down. Iron Ore hooks onto Hammerhead. And the team from Delft feeling quite blue, I would imagine. But turning away now and chasing Sergeant Bash back into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone. There you can see Niels, driver builder, a network engineer by trade. And who created Hammerhead 2, pursuing Xenomorph. For me, it would be Iron Ore, certainly at this stage, because they've been the more aggressive and the, the more experienced, the more stylish, if it goes to a judge's decision. And one from the other two. There, the potential destructiveness of Iron Ore. Do you see the axe there? Pinned into Xenomorph's exo-frame. Bouncing it away. You're talking about lifting a 95 kilos robot there. Just to give you some sense of the weight of these machines. Iron Ore 2 scuttles across the arena floor, bounces off that sidewall, dodges Sergeant Bash. It's a kid a lot mean and squat looking. Waiting permission to come out of that CPZ. Feel very tense and tight here now. Iron Ore, the little front flipper rises. The axe comes down, pins on to Xenomorph. You can see Xenomorph has taken some damage around the, the hubs, some, some denting, some bashing. Oh, Iron Ore tries to flip to kill a lot, and very nearly did so. And Sergeant Bash comes out as a little reminder do not take on my troop, son. Extra square bashing for you, Iron Ore. Waits to get a little axe blow. What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Where has that come from? Iron Ore is OK. Xenomorph is pushed. Hammerhead 2. Cease. It's not Killer Lot's teeth, is it? Certainly took a bashing. Who goes through? It's up to the judges. Well, not much happened there. Even the house robots got impatient. Disc constructor, certainly not a driving instructor, drove itself into the pits. The other three go to the judges. They'll be looking at the usual criteria. While they're making up their minds, let's review the highlights, if there were any. The eyes of Sir Killalot will blink no more, it would seem. Good attack by Iron Ore. That's when <laughs> Disc Constructor <laughs> took the easy way out. Hammerhead 2, flipping. Xenomorph flipped. Iron Ore for me has to go through. I don't know between the other two. I simply don't know. And 
the judges have made their decision. No controversy, really. They've gone for iron ore and hammerhead. Hammerhead two or through to the second round. This is for a place in the heat final. Congratulations. Thank you. But I'm sensing there was something wrong with the flipper in round one. Uh, yeah, the flipper wasn't working uh, properly. One of the fells was broken. Um, and so we couldn't really use the flipper. So we were lucky to go through. But uh, everything has been uh, fixed now. What are your tactics going to be in round two? Well, uh, Typhoon is a round uh, robot. So we just flip it on its side. That's the end of it. That's going to be it. You're going to win this one? Absolutely. Ahead two. First in the arena, then the machine of Niels de Carpentier and Richard van der Berg from Delft in Holland. The flipper now working. Typhoon two from Edinburgh Air Cadets and the command of Flying Officer Peter Bennett, Corporal Gary Cairns and Sergeant Graham Horn. Roboteers stand by in the arena for the house robots. Matilda once more. Oh, that's a horrible angle. And Shunt, who always gets his angles right. Three, two, one, activate. Fancy blaming Shunt for a defeat in Robot Wars. After all, that's what they're there for. Typhoon 2 now spinning away. Straight away, you can see the spin up. Up to full tilt, as it were. The hammerhead comes looking for Robot Blood. Turns away again on the sides of Typhoon 2. You can't really see them. Well, just a blur, the four rotating claw-shaped hammer cutters. Massive kinetic energy force slamming into the side of Hammerhead 2. The Dutch team does have that powerful tail flipper. You can see it at the controls. Niels looks on. Loves his skydiving as a hobby. Will Hammerhead 2 take the great fall here? A big fish in a small pond in Dutch Robot Wars here in the UK Championships, though. There is an ocean apart in class. Oh. <laughs> and it's coming apart at the seams! Hammerhead 2! Oh! How about that for an attack by Typhoon 2? We talked about the danger created by spinners. This machine is a spinner in itself. And that was the moment where the metal splinters started to fly, then the side panels, and the electrics went. Look at that. Stunned into a submissive salute to Typhoon 2, Niels de Carpentier's machine. He's in smithereens. Seconds to go. That's not a bad challenge, I'll tell you what. The Dutch machines are getting stronger and stronger in Robot Wars. Typhoon 2, through to the heat final. And now in comes Shunt with the diamond edged axe and the bulldozer blades. And what will be the punishment for a beaten machine? The pit? Well, that really is the safest option for a beaten machine. The floor flipper, of course. We have the drop zone, don't forget. This is the floor flipper, though. How far will a hammerhead shark fly? That far. <laughs> More bits and pieces came. Oh, no. Not Matilda's tail. Let's see how it flies first. At what, six, seven metres? And then in comes Matilda with the spinning flywheel tail. Oh, and now the drop zone as well. How cruel, how merciless, how delicious, how joyous for us all. Time to derail any hopes they ever had of rebuilding this with some railway track. Arriving on platform 18. The late, very late, Hammerhead 2. 
and a little nudge from Matilda, all that is now necessary to send it back to the land of dikes and windmills. I'm ahead too from Delft. Utter carnage in the war zone, total devastation. Typhoon, they go storming through. Well, hammerhead. If it wasn't an endangered species, it is now. Yeah. You brought it in a trailer, you can take it home in the glove box, can't you? Um, yeah, mostly. It's, uh... Absolutely battered. What yes. happened? <laughs> uh, well, I tried to stop their uh, spinner, but it could take a couple of uh, big hits, and then it stopped on one side, and then they uh, hit me on the side, and the link fell out, and then it was... Uh, Sitting dead duck then, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've taken a serious amount of damage. Is there anything salvageable out of that robot now? Uh, probably. Yeah. I think most of the insides are uh, still okay. Are you going to come back and join us again? Sure. Build a harder robot. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hammerhead!